still don't feel very good, but I missed you guys. I had to come and talk to you. How you been? How you been doing? Don't buy this stuff. This stuff tastes like shampoo. Seriously. Neuro, son. You know, I tried one of these white ones, it, and it tasted just like Alka-Seltzer. This stuff, I don't even know why I'm still drinking it. This stuff tastes like shampoo. I don't It's like somebody said, hey, let's make some of the crappiest tasting beverages on earth and put them in, like, bottles that look like, you know, shampoo conditioner bottles and see how many stupid people will buy them. Kind of like Prell, but just not as slimy. I don't even know why I bought another one after the first one. It's just stupid. Anyway, the, the only reason I had to come, I had to come on, I had to say this. This, this. this needs to be said to the YouTube community. Quit making videos, pimping other people, trying to get us to subscribe to other channels, and trying to promote your friends' videos. I, if you want to promote your friends' videos, feature them on your channel. If you're a partner, put up a banner. Let people go and decide for themselves if they want to subscribe. But let's quit making videos pimping other people. It's just stupid. And, and it's like this... Uh, I wasn't even a part of this contest, but I guess this uh, next tuber thing, I don't know, whatever YouTube's doing... I guess that thing turned into a popularity contest to see who could get the biggest partners who were their friends to go, hey, subscribe to this person, subscribe to that person. And basically what it did was it just, it blew out the merit system uh, of somebody getting a chance on the merits of, uh, of how creative they were, or how good they were, which, uh, which basically that's kind of what's happened with YouTube anyway is, is uh, if you're on YouTube and you're making videos, Make good videos. Make videos in the genre or the field that you're good at. Quit wasting your time trying to pimp other people and trying to be popular by pimping other people. Let your popularity come from how good your videos are. Or you could always sub for sub, get 20,000 subscribers and 20 views on each video that you put out. <laughs> Let's make videos that are about stuff. I, sometimes I wonder, do people think before they put stuff on the web? Because you, you go on Facebook and you look at what people post on Facebook. Well, uh, I just put my jammies on, and now I'm going to snuggle on the couch. Thank you. Thank you for that valuable information. You could have at least quoted somebody who did something significant with their life. You could have at least been entertaining. Some people are entertaining. I like their posts. They make funny posts, or they make commentaries about life. But some people... They post what they're eating for supper. That's neither entertaining nor funny. Not even really that interesting. I had a skinless chicken breast with some green beans and some uh, mashed turnips, and I had a nice glass of Diet Coke on the side. Who cares? I, I took off a video uh, about a week ago. Uh, it was an unboxing video. A friend of mine had sent me a box of books, and I was kind of goofing on it. It was supposed to be uploaded April 1st, but it didn't get uploaded then. And I titled it Unboxing CRAP. And uh, I had monetized it because I put AdSense on things, put little ads on the site. I get this letter from YouTube saying, we're sorry, but there's, uh, we, need, we need permission and we need proof that you have permission to use everything in your video. 
And I'm like, okay, well, number one, it was just a vlog. There was no music in the background. There were no graphics. I didn't do any green screening. So basically, uh, nothing on that video is copyrighted. So I sent him back this big, long explanation going, I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know why you have a problem with this video. There's no reason for you to, to not put revenue on it. Well, I get a letter back stating that the term unboxing C-R-A-P has been trademarked. Somebody trademarked that term. And because that term was on the video, I couldn't monetize it. And they said that uh, uh, my video may be removed by YouTube if I don't choose to remove it myself. So I just took it off. I think it's getting silly. Wouldn't it be cool if we could use commercial music? Wouldn't it be cool if we could use, like, television clips and videos? and We could use all that stuff without having to secure permission, without having to go through a, a painful process. As a matter of fact, I've even found some real obscure songs written by people that aren't even popular anymore. And I've gone on this big hunt to find their email so I could, I could ask if I could use their clip or ask them what it would cost to use music. Or They don't even respond to me. I mean, we could be so much more creative as an artistic community if we could just access everything. So I, I want to say this. I want to say this. Listen to me. I'm not on YouTube to make money. And uh, whatever I do make, I just pretty much throw back into YouTube through contests and stuff. So any video I have on YouTube, if you want to rip it and use it for your own personal reasons, if you want to mock me, make fun of me, if you want to use it to create your own channel full of my videos, go for it. You can have it. Matter of fact, right now, rip this video. I, Biggie D-Man, give everyone in the entire world full permission to use anything that I broadcast on YouTube on my Biggie D-Man channel. Pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. Just don't rip anything off the sock, Doc, or I will sue your pants off.